Hello guys, in today's video we will solve problem number 846 So in this problem we have one array and also we have one variable named group size and we have to get all the possible sub arrays uh, in the size of the descriptions So what does that mean? Let's take this first example so here we have one array and also we have the group size okay so in this video we have to find all the uh, consecutive cards so if we start from the one then in, in our set there will be one, two and three in the same scenario uh, from two we will have two, three, four and from six we have six, seven, eight so like that uh, we have to split all the variables in this given group size and if it is possible then we have to return true otherwise we have to return false in this example you can see that we cannot create uh, a group of a groups of uh, groups of uh, size 4 using this all the variables because in the first loop we can put this thing but in the second group we will have only one element and, and that will not satisfy this condition so the hands value will be 0 to 10 to the power 9 and, and the total array length will be up to 10 to the power 4 so for this problem and we can do one thing what we can do we can start from the first element of our array so here let's assume we get to 1 so after that we can run a for loop that will run from 1 to till our group size so 1 to 1 plus group size ok and that will return a group then we will check if the new group if it is in our in previous array or not if it is there then we will move forward then for the uh, same let's assume for 1 we created this group 1 to 3 so after that we will move with the next character but here you can see that next character is 6 so this will here we will get some problem if let's assume here we have 8 then we cannot move forward because we don't have any element go to the right so for uh, that problem we have to sort this array first ok and so after sorting we will get all the element in increasing order and then we can use this logic so here uh, let's assume we will get a new group then we will compare it in, in the previous array and if it is there we will get the answer so how we can uh, write the code about this logic so for that ok and in this uh, example also you can see that we will in the first iteration we will get 1, 2, 3, 4 and in the second iteration we will get 5 only so that's why it will be false but here we get all the elements in 3 pairs like this that's why it is written so first of all we will use we'll, we will create one hash map to store from the count of all the distinct values so for that draw collections import counter ok and here we will we have one dictionary pause hang ok <laughs> so and also we have to short our array and here we can run a for loop in the main array and we will check if i and b you know if it is there then only we have to move forward what does that mean so whenever we will, we will run through this loop in in the while loop inside here we will uh, create one more while loop for the sub, uh, sub uh, array so we will run a loop like this while j minus i if it is less than group size ok so here we are creating the sub group so here if j 
not indeed well written false okay let's assume you start from the 7 then you go to 8 but you cannot find the number 9 so in that scenario we'll directly return the value as calls okay and in the L scenario we will reduce our value by 1 so it's t0 of 1 is equal to 1 then we will delete it and the else will decrease the value by 1 okay so that's why we are using this condition here if i in d so that uh, like uh, for each visited uh, value we will traverse once only so in the first iteration for 1 to 3 now there is no need to run the pony rows it for the 2 and 3 we can directly move to the fourth way so that's why we are using this uh, dictionary and we are deleting the values from it and in the end here we have goals and is the value of say okay and we just follow we can just return true okay and i will run this code okay so it is working so what uh, exactly we are doing is in this all code first of all we are sorting it then we are also creating as map to counters in the end we are uh, running three on the elements and then we are using this group size as a second y loop because we have to create a subgroups of this size so that's why we are writing this logic so so that uh Overall time complexity will be of n log n because here this way these both uh, two loops will run a full of n time complexity and here we are using of n log n type for complexity. I will submit it. Yes, it is working. We are not getting any error. So like this, we can solve this problem. Thank you for watching this video.